Wait, no, it's fun to get the, sh the drinking shots in the video. Well, I'm recording right now. Yeah. Um. Yeah. I, I feel like this is good for you. Feeling this is overhyped. Yeah, down here, at the down bottom, on your right. Okay, thank, thank you. you. Heck? These are lines for photos with some. Wait, 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 wait. We're getting the are fall, guys. This is it. This is literally it. Like, like, zoom, pan around. This is like. We paid seventy dollars for this. This can't be real. I don't know what any of these things mean. We're here at VidCon 2022 where all the coolest people in the world congregate every year. VidCon's for cool people only. Let's go, let's go watch, there's some like TikTok kids giving life advice right now. There's some kids on stage right now. I don't know who they are. I assume they blew up on TikTok or something. But they're like 16 and now they're giving the rest of us life advice. But even scarier than that, is the fact that like there's a s crowd of people like listening to them. Like what is this? What's going on? What the fuck is happening? My favorite video that I have made, and I know it's not my most popular video, but to me it was the most emotionally important, and that was the video that I made about my emotionally abusive theater teacher. Because you yeah, really these are bots. Do you know what VidCon really is? Does anybody remember that show? It's yes. like okay. it's the NPC apocalypse. Uh, I really like it's a Ponzi Dragon Check out my new uh, check out my new single I NPC Apocalypse on Spotify. NPC Apocalypse, man, this shit ain't possible. What you got going on upstairs? Bitch, nothing. You need to escape, escape the matrix. Sign up for Hustlers University today. Are you enjoying your time at VidCon? I sure am. What's your name? Casper. Casper? Yep. Why are, you, why are you getting so close, man? Are you guys YouTubers? Yes. What's your biggest fear? Whenever I jump dimensions, not making it back to this one can sometimes be very scary. You jump dimensions? Yes. What does that mean? Yeah, have you ever heard of the eighth dimension? No. Oh, it's a place uh, when you go there, you're there for a very long time. You like doing D DMT? No, 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 no. So it's kind of like a meditation thing where I can traverse into other cartoon worlds and interact with them characters. So you just close your eyes and think really hard and then you're in a cartoon world? Yes. Well, thanks for wearing a mask. <laughs> yeah, Th especially this one. I have an actual mask under this. Like He's double masking. Yeah. Thank you for your service. I, I, have, I have almost like no power of doing, any, uh, doing anything with it. So it's, I'm, I'm, just a, I'm just like a regular uh, dude with the, like the Spike Cranberry mask and also the original Spike Cranberry <laughs> itself too. Yep, I'm boosted too. Boosted? That's good. Yep. Do you know that there's a, um, like a new study from Israel that said that uh, there's a 22% sperm count reduction in people who are vaccinated? Okay. <laughs> sure. What are your pronouns? Don't know. You don't know? Can we help you figure them out? Sure. I'm guessing they or she. Sounds good. What are your guys' pronouns? She, her. She, her. That's boring. Those are normal pronouns. I, wanted, I was looking for a they, them. Are you guys, like, uh, homophobic? No. <laughs> your pronouns should be something other than she, her. Otherwise, you guys are probably homophobic. How about no? <laughs> we can support it without being in it. What do you guys do to support the LGBTQ plus community? We got homophobes. 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 Trans, okay. Your sister's? Yes. Yes, my sister is, and I love her. Exactly. Wait, so was it like a was it like a guy, and did he cut his dick off? I don't know. I don't live with my brother. I mean, sister. Fuck, I'm going to fucking kill myself. Homophobes. Homophobes. We found homophobes at, Vid at VidCon. <laughs> Can I ask you guys what your pronouns are? Unfortunately, no. Bro, chief, and dude. So. Sounds homophobic to me. Sounds homophobic. Wait, these guys are big time. Wait, what's the name of your channel? You have to tell. We literally said we, we we have a video where we go around just saying that we're big time. It's a pretty good video. It sounds like a good video. 
What's the name of your channel? I can't tell you. It's unfortunate, but you can find out if you just ask around. Will you tell us? Hired gun, man. What about you your channel? They're with Ben Shapiro. We're, we're Snapchat Daily Wire. Daily Wire Snapchat. Are you? What are your pronouns? She, they. What does the they entail? The they entails being non-binary. Uh, okay. Uh, what is, uh, what is that? Non-binary is like you kind of feel like you don't really have a gender. What are the ears? Is that the they part? Um, no, just part of cosplay. I'm cosplaying as Klee from Genshin Impact. Queen from who? Klee from Genshin Impact. Is that a video game? Yes. How old are you? Turning 16 in next month. What are your pronouns? He, him. He, him? What are you dressed as? Venti from Genshin Impact. Is that the same video game as her? Yes. Do you believe in God? I believe in a God. Not necessarily like the Christian God or any, like, like the Jewish God, like none of that. Not Jewish or Christian, just like uh, some sort of uh, higher power? Yeah, I, I believe in like deities, like uh, like sort of paganism or um, just Greek gods in general. That makes a lot of sense. Bad energy, really bad energy. This guy deserves uh, 300 people to listen to him, that's for sure. We gotta find a way to not sound bitter. We came to VidCon thinking we were gonna do street interviews, and we attempted that, but <laughs> I think more than that, we're just like flabbergasted at what we're witnessing. So this is just a place where we all get to come in deep, and, it's, and now I get to like talk about my Netflix show. Why wouldn't I be in a good mood? <laughs> yeah. Are you in a good mood, Ethan? Heck yeah! Heck yeah! How's everybody else feeling? Yeah. Oh my god, f***ing kill me. I, I, I don't think I've ever been this like demoralized and have had this little energy from like, like from like an experience. Feels like I just ran like a marathon. Like this is the, fuck dude, it's just horrible. Oh, this is horrible. Oh. This is so bad. Hey, excuse me, what mental illnesses do you guys have? All. Yes. All? Majority of them, yes. But in general, uh, I've been diagnosed with anxiety and depression. So those are the, those are the funny haha -ha ones. Same. I'm like into the crystals and you know Persephone, Hades, that kind of deal. How'd you get into that? Uh, my mom's a witch and I've been exposed to a lot of it. I've seen people speak to gods. Different crystals kind of have different energy attached to them and depending on like who you are, different crystals are better to have. Also, it like matches up with your chakra. I can't really explain that, it's difficult to explain, but crystals just have different energy that give you different certain things. The rose quartz helps with like love type deals. So like if you wanted luck, luck with love, then you can like hold on to like a rose quartz in your pocket or something. How's your relationship with your father? Next question. What are you into? I am a Christian. Really? What, what uh, denomination? Presbyterian. I'm a deacon at my church. Sorry? I'm a deacon at my church. Huh. Interesting. Based? Yeah. My church is a lot of old white people, oh. and so I try to make them more... What are you doing? Uh, we're trying to get kicked out of VidCon, honestly. Is it working? Uh, I don't know how. Like, oh, do you guys have any suggestions? I mean, just go around harassing people. Hey, yo, is it for real, for real, busting no cap? Um, no cabbage here. You guys like big on TikTok or something? Going. No. No? BJ's. He's a BJ's. He gives blowjobs? No. That's gay. No. No. Are these up for grabs? Okay. I'm gonna take it. Alright, let's go. Let's go. We got our money's worth. We're going. I'm taking this all the way to my car. I'm just telling them we're, we look official. We're in suits. Listen, we're gonna get this back to our car. No, we're about to get stopped. We just look legit enough. If we just look like we're supposed to be doing what we're doing, I think we're good. Um, I think we're in the clear. <laughs> I think, I think, I think we got this. Yeah, no one, no one gets, you know what? This is white, you know what this is? White privilege. If we get stopped, we just say, oh, I don't know. I'm, I'm glad we're out. I'm glad, I'm really happy to be, well, you were talking about going back in there to get more shots and I don't. I literally don't have the spiritual stamina to um to enter that horrible. building again. Yeah, I think I think I'm I think I'm done. I don't I don't I think me versus VidCon, VidCon won. You got us no, this no, year, no, VidCon. So we just got out of VidCon. 
man, I, I, I don't, I can't really describe it, but just like the energy in there was like, like it was the, probably the worst energy I've ever felt in a place, like ever. Like it was like, um, like when you watch YouTube, um, like YouTube rewinds, or like some new Nickelodeon like um, sitcoms, like it feels like so fake and artificial, and like corporately controlled. Like it feels like no one's actually genuinely creating something. And that's what like this entire location felt like. I, w I didn't really know what to expect, but I assumed it was gonna be a bunch of YouTubers. No, it was like Spotify, Amazon Prime, Netflix. <laughs> like, it was just, oh, I was like, okay, so VidCon is just Hollywood? It's just, and then everybody there, the, uh, the quality of person attending was, was brutal. Call me whatever you want. I don't, I don't want to uh, over-spiritualize it. it you, could f you could smell the hopelessness in the air in that room. You look at the people there, didn't they all seem helpless and lost? You know, Everyone there yeah. looks so lost. Le le celebrities are God in their life. And I think that it was so vapid and, 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 and just like spiritually like, like, like dark because because it was like because this is it because this is the, it this is the this highest is, this thing. is the highest thing and, and, in my life i yeah. saw mr beast today that's as good as my life's gonna get because it's not about the aesthetics to them it's it is literally celebrity. it's about the hype celebrity it's, it's just yeah. oh people know who this guy is oh, this guy's a celebrity i'm, I'm gonna i'm gonna it's, drool over this it's I'm hype, hype slobber on them it, yeah. it's hype for the sake of hype yes and, hype, yeah. hype for views for the sake of views but, but my question is, and I don't really have a great answer for it, but why? Why are so many people on TikTok mentally ill? It, it's and, a narcissism yeah. epidemic. It's, hmm. And I feel I'm a bit of a hypocrite for saying that because I make videos too. I mean, there's people making TikToks where they're just making selfie videos. There's people taking selfie videos all day long and like, I don't know, and, and like, uh, like ugly people too, fat people. Like getting, get people getting their ugly mug in front of the camera. Like, aren't, aren't you sick of looking at yourself? I man, I, I'm, I'm not hideous, and I get sick of looking at myself very quickly. It's hard to edit my own videos. I hate looking at my stupid face. But if I was like fat and taking, you know, front camera selfie videos all day, isn't that? It's just crazy to me. Who's okay with doing that? I'm here to tell you that it's not only men that have thick, dark facial hair, and it's not only men that shave their face with razors. Let's normalize some girls having thick, dark facial hair and using razors to shave. I don't want to talk about, about, about the dating crisis, though, because... Yeah, let's... And, like, fuck. Like, neither of us are incels, like... Obviously. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm, I'm 27. I feel so old. Hmm. I've, I have been around the block, Did but... you almost rip your arm off? Yeah, I almost cut my arm off twice. Chainsawing through a tree, if you hit, and you're not careful, you can hit a knot and the chainsaw can whip back at you. Two different times, I almost took a chainsaw to the arm for $15 an hour. Out of everyone I went to high school with, I, how many of those kids have ever worked a, a blue collar job? How many of them have even worked in a restaurant? A lot of kids I went to high school with have never even served tables and now they're arrogant little pricks. In my life I've been bitten by a, a dog probably six different times oh, shit. and it's been a pit bull every time. If you're just trying to uh, get it in sometimes you need to stick it in the ugly just to uh, just to gain your confidence back. If you have a crippling porn addiction you know cut that out and then maybe maybe just get out there and bang a fat girl just to just to get the ball rolling. What do you want to know? I can tell you anything. Hmm. I know everything. Uh, 27, 5'7", live in San Marcos, drinking yes, smoking no. Uh, whether you smoke weed or not, uh, as a guy, just always say that you don't. Just always say that you don't. Hmm. Together we could have four kids, buy a ranch, and create a bunker to prepare oh, for the man, collapse of Western I'm civilization. Gonna, I'm taking a picture of that one. That's a, that's a that, solid one. Conservative girls love that one.